Hi, Dyslexic Genius here. What we're going to now do is we're going to mount the screws and the little brass pieces I talked about before to the motor board so we can mount the motor to the machine. But first we goop the top, polish it out with McGuire's like this to make it nice. And then because they have this etching in here from the factory, we did the whole bottom also to make it look nicer. And we have these two screws and we have these two brass pieces. Three. Three brass pieces. So th these have two sides. We have threads at the top. This part is rounded. And then bottom, it's recessed on the inside. Do you see where there's space and then threads? Why is that? Because this part of the screw shows when you put it into the motor board. So if you do this, I'll just do this one. You push it through the hole. Whoopsie. You push it through the hole. Wrong hole. Right hole. You can see part of the, the angle of the screw right here. So when you put it in, you have to put the flat side down like that and then screw down. But what, first, what we're going to do is, I'm really into making it easy for people 100 years from now. That's the kind of work. We're going to put a little bit of anti-seize, which is a little compound you can buy, like that, this little silver stuff. We'll put a little more on there. It's an oil stuff. Put these on your, so you put that through. We have the flat side, or the rounded side. The flat side goes in. And why did you put anti-seize on them? Because down the road, in a hundred years, somebody's going to want to take this thing apart to rebuild it. Now, we have a little bit of anti-seize on there to help whoever wants to take this apart again in their life and you just leave this a little loose and it's very simple you just you get a little anti-seize in there you don't need a lot stuff's kind of messy because the motor mount the motor is mounted from underneath this is right it? so we did this and nobody caught the mistake i just made but i'm going to show you the mistake i just made in just a minute I would have loved to have caught a mistake you oh. made. <laughs> she loves finding mistakes I make, you know. Almost 50 years of marriage. And I forgot to tell you people this too. You have two black screws and you have one polished out screw. Well, that screw there goes in that hole. So let's just... Move that over there. Seriously, what difference does it make if the screw goes into one hole or the because other? Because that screw is seen from the outside when you put the top plate on. And this one goes here. And you... Because the back two screws are hidden. And this one is out in the front. So you have two black, you have the two black screws, and then the top casting fits here, and then where the mandrel's right here, you can see that screw, and that's where they polished that out. The factory nickeled that. Just little things in life with Edison. It's kind of fun. Because the sandy seas will never go away, never dribble off, and it kind of helps fight a little rust. And we did have some rust on a little bit of the screws. And that's how you put the motorboard bolts into the motorboard. Then what we will have to do now is make the rubber, and then we'll mount the motor chassis, and then we'll assemble the rest of the motor on the machine. And that's my tip for the day.